initiation of a child into the fold. And then we have a Navar or Nauzuti in Iranian uh, uh, way and Martap ceremony. The two grades of initiation into priesthood after the Martap ceremony, a Mabit can perform any liturgical, inner and outer liturgical ceremonies. In the consecration ceremonies, we have the consecration of fire temples. And in our last class, the Zoroastrian places of worship, we cover in quite detail consecration of our fire temples, Atashbiram, Adarian, and Dadga. For North America, it is mainly the initiation of a new Daremer, and so uh, the other two do not apply as such right now for the consecration. Consecration of Towers of Silence and religious requisites called Alat, we do not, it does not apply to us and we won't cover that in detail. The upper left hand corner photo shows the three brothers Naujot in Miami, Hasotia family, and it is performed by the three Mobits. And then in the middle, the two brothers Navarya are being escorted by the two Dastujis of Udwara on the steps of Iran Shah for their first day of Navar Yazeshna ceremony. And then on the right hand side, we see the initiation or enthronement of the holy fire after the Jashan ceremony in the new Daremer of Dallas, Texas. And I was privy to be one of the participants in this wonderful experience. Now we come to the liturgical ceremonies, the last one. Here the inner liturgical ceremonies are Yasna, Whisperet, Vandidat, and Baj. It is called Palmahel again because it is done in holy consecrated house of an Agyari, Atashberam, or Adriyan. The Baj ceremony can be performed anywhere whereas the other three cannot and so we will not be able to uh, uh, talk about that for North American context at least at the present time, who knows in the future. But you can remember one thing, you can recite either Yasna, Whisperer and Vandira, just a recital as we three did it in the new Daremer of Dallas when we recited Vandira starting at 12 o'clock in the night and it took almost six plus hours to perform the recital. The bath ceremony, as I said, can be performed anywhere. And right now we are performing this in the North American context. The uh, OZCF group or association of Toronto performs the bath ceremony at the Muktat time. And we also perform the bath ceremony in the Dallas Daremer for the inauguration. The outer liturgical ceremonies or Hoshmordi common ceremonies are really basically Afringan, Farokshi and Satum. All three of them are performed in North America quite regularly and we will talk in details about that. In the photograph in the upper left you will see a Navar Yazisne ceremony performed in Jijibe Darabayagyari. In the middle is the Bach ceremony at the inauguration of Dallas Daremer. And on the right hand side is the Satum ceremony before the Gambar ceremony or Gambar feast in Orlando, Florida. So now we come to the last part of the liturgical ceremony called combined liturgical ceremony. I am on slide number 12. The liturgical ceremonies are Nirandin. Nirandin basically is a ceremony to consecrate the bull's urine or the consecrated bull Varasyaji's urine which can be then used for other ceremonies like Naan and so on or Barashnum taking. It is performed by two Mobeds uh, for almost uh, six days with uh, six uh, after they take a special Barashnum of nine day seclusion then they perform the six days of Yajashne alternatively becoming the main Jyoti and then on the six day night or seven day morning early they perform the Vandida and then they consecrate the collected urines from the bulls 
as well as the collect the holy water and then also the the bull's uh, little hair from his tail. Hamayasht or homash is a huge ceremony. It requires 12 yazat ceremonies, 12 days with yajashne as well as vandidat. So that ends up being 144 yajashne and vandidats. This is done sort of when the people are still alive and they wanted to do it as a good deed for repenting for some of those sins or whatever. And it is a huge ceremony, requires multiple Mavids to finish it within short time, otherwise two Mavids takes 144 days. The last time, if I remember, this thing was performed was in Surat about six to eight months ago. This was celebrated with a very big celebration by lots of people attending these ceremonies, especially on the last day. The Gaiti Kharit means Gaiti means this particular word. Kharid means to buy. Gaiti Kharid means you are buying something in this world so that it will help you when you pass away. What it is, is the people who are still living perform many ceremonies for the dead that you perform for four days right here when they are alive so that in case when they pass away that uh, pair, uh, their uh, relatives may or may not do that, maybe they are worried. So this is what they do there. Jindaravan is uh, almost the same thing. It is the Zinda means uh, alive and Ravan means soul. Zindaravan ceremonies is the four day ceremony you perform when you are alive or if in a couple one person is dead and the other is alive, then they do it for the couple and it is the ceremonies that you perform when you're alive. The Sarosh ceremonies actually is the actual four-day ceremony that we perform for a, a departed soul and it is all included into the death ceremonies also, but some people do it for themselves when they're alive. The Gamba ceremony is taking quite a bit of in, being taken interest by many of the Zoroastrians Parsis as well as Iranis in North America and Iranian friends in uh, uh, Iran itself in the big cities like Yers, Kerman, Yer, uh, Tehran and so on. They religiously perform this ceremony of Gambar with a ceremony and then a big social uh, community uh, holy banquet and it is a very amazing, interesting thing. We are also in North America performing that. The Jashan ceremony, as I said, it is a common thing that we do all the time here in North America with three Afghans and as, uh, three Afghans as well as the debacher, the, the introduction, and also the three Afrins at the end. Farvadegan and Muktar ceremonies are performed for the uh, 10 days, the last five days of Aspanda Maina, the 12th month of our calendar, and the five Gata days are following that, the 10 days, whereas in North America we only uh, mostly perform the Muktat ceremony during the five Gata days. And uh, many of the association are now warming up to this and performing that. The Fareshta ceremony, as I said, is a mega Jashan ceremony with 33 uh, Afringans and it is performed as a special occasion. Last time in North America this was performed is by the new Los Angeles Association who uh, bought a place and then initiated into a Dareme and they performed the Fareshta ceremony there. In the upper left hand corner you are seeing the people at the Orlando Gamba eating in banana leaves and the Miami Muktat celebration in the center and Foresta ceremony on the right in a Woodwara home. So we have come to the end of the broad brush and here I have shown out of all the ceremonies we covered